I love that you don't have to decide. You don't ever have to pick one thing unless you, you know, unless you really feel called to it. Like teaching is my thing. I love teaching. Like I get so much energy from my students, but um, in in the art realm, yeah, I just like to dance and play in it. It's so fun. I don't know. teaching design one and there's two sections of that and that's kind of a digital and analog class where students learn hands-on and digital processes and that's a lot of fun and then I'm also teaching digital art levels one and two and that's all things digital um, and we're doing like GIFs and video animations and photo bashing taught at a private college prep for a while, realized I wanted to continue working at a higher level, so I went to the University of Montana. I stuck around there and then worked at the University of Montana Western for about a year, and then after that I worked in design for a little while, and then got a job at the University of Pittsburgh at Bradford, and I, uh, I taught out there for eight years, and I was the art director. I feel like I just achieved one of the biggest goals was coming here, because I wanted to get a position where I could really have more space to make my own art, and then be at a bigger school, have more colleagues. I was a, kind of like a, a solo traveler for a while. I would live out of my truck and, and rock climb too so that was kind of like a fun thing I don't do that anymore so it's just kind of like a lifestyle and now I just make art and teach I love that. a lot of my art has to do with overcoming things or moving through it or understanding them and it has to do with patterns um, so I like to explore it all the way and so I'll take a lot of photographs um, I'll do a lot of sketches and then I'll take those and then I'll fabricate them digitally. For example, so like this is a this is a mural of I don't know maybe like 60 photographs that I've taken that I've photo bashed and put together to create a whole new space. This will be fully digital always. What I would normally do is I would then hand render it so then it comes back out and I I paint it again. I am doing this series of burning my artwork. So every two weeks I post my work as an NFT and if someone doesn't buy it, I burn it on live, on live feed. I figured why not, it's kind of fun. It gives it one last life and then it goes and then I do another one because otherwise it just sits in the dark and nobody's gonna look at it. And it's kind of fun for me. There's also the project that I'm having my classes right now take part in. It's called the Gen Z Project. And we teamed up with the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh. Um, but anyone who's a, um, a Gen Zer can take part in it and they can submit images, videos, writing to the Gen Z um, Warhol time capsule. So if you go to the Warhol Museum, go on and check it out. That will be a lot of fun, but yeah, just, you know, come take an art class.